Hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of social media lead generation so what are the things that you should be doing what are the things you should not be doing or avoiding on social media if you're trying to build a business trying to get sales trying to get uh, trying to sell your course trying to generate leads for your business you're trying to grow your fans and you're trying to get people to connect with you and get people to know like and trust you and get that sale what are the things you should be not doing you know I can tell you a lot about the stuff they shouldn't be doing stuff I started doing when the beginning and why that's important not to do when you're starting out and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now and welcome to course income secrets first of all let's get one thing clear what is a lead now different people use different definitions for leads some will say that a lead is a friend on Facebook some will say a lead is somebody who comments on your post or leaves a leaves a like on a post on your social media whether Facebook LinkedIn whatever all the different platforms others will say a lead is when somebody fills a form and it goes into your email list and all this now I'm not gonna go and debate and say what's right what's not because really it depends because you know if you count your leads as being somebody who likes a post on your on your Facebook then obviously that's more you know gives you a higher number of leads than if you were to say they have to have filled in a form and put in their name and an email in a form to be on your email list right for me it's the email list right for me anybody who likes and comments is a is a prospect is a potential lead and I'm not saying you have to go by that I'm just saying that's kind of how I look at it the people who are engaging on your Facebook who until they're in your email list until they're in your email autoresponder until they're getting emails from you they're I don't consider them leads I'm not saying they're not but I don't consider them leads when I'm counting the number of leads I'm getting right so that's the, the, let's just say that's the first definition the first thing to, to 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 measure is leads and one of the things too is that you are awful often you're going to hear leads per day how many leads per day are you getting right and like I said if you count the people commenting the new followers you get those those numbers I mean for me I could count those I'd probably be in the hundreds a day right uh, but I since I just count my leads as people that are in my email list that I'm not getting that much and I'm also not focusing on that but I do want to tell you a couple of things that I did when I first started out that caused me some problems and I think you should try to avoid those things all right so first of all uh let's let's say you decide that you're going to go with my definition and you're going to say that a lead is somebody who's in your email list well that means you have to have an email list right you have to have an email a provider an autoresponder if you don't have any uh I use Aweber so you can go aweber.jeansergegagnon.com to go and sign up for a free account they actually have free account now up to 500 I think is the number of people you can have in there and there's totally no cost to it you just go to Jean uh, aweber.jeansergegagnon here let me just put the link up here uh where do I have it here aweber I don't have it here oh my I have so many links let's just create it let's just create a new one we'll call it aweber so aweber is basically the pretty simple it's http colon slash slash a weber dot jean serge gagnon dot com a weber with an e though no, right a w a w e b e r dot jean serge gagnon dot com I'm going to make that a background kind of like that and let's just make it a size that you can actually see that's still a little bit too big isn't it let's put that down there and there you go so <clears throat> so aweber aweber.jeansergegagnon.com so that's j-e-a-n-s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com right so you go there you get yourself freaking let me just show you what that looks like 
uh, Aweber is basically a email provider uh, actually I should probably go an incognito window let's open up that let's share the screen here if you go to Aweber dot that's not right I don't want to do that let's just resize that right there we go and there we go all right so you go to Aweber Aweber dot com and it takes you to their their page where they tell you about what the what the site's about obviously they uh, they first right away give you this option to enter your name and email and sign up and they talk about what does Aweber you know stand for what do they give you uh let's add that link to here too because I should have done that Aweber oh I do have it already okay there we go let's make that smaller too there we go yeah so there you go Aweber Aweber there you go so that's basically and it's like I said it's a free solution I'm going to show you what the, it looks like on my back office if I go to my back office right over here that's not that domains and addresses let's make this a little bit there we go like this right we go up here it's loading up my computer's a little slow so you can see what it looks like so this is just my so in Aweber what you do is you first set up your uh, list you got to first set up a list and uh, that's the first step right Be before you get leads on social media before you use attraction marketing and personal branding to get leads you have to have uh like a place where people can put their leads you can either use something like Aweber like this or you can use something like my lead system pro which is a an education platform that lets you create all sorts of things so I'm just gonna do this exit here because and then we're gonna just reload this page I think my computer's uh causing causing some slowness here it's too much stuff going on there you go so now I'm going to log in and so once you're in here so basically you can set up a list so if I go here create a new list manage lists the when you're first obviously in there you're not going to have a bunch of lists like I do right so you can create a list and then you're just going to call it whatever first thing it asks you for your company name things like that you've got to set that up it's all part of the setup there's a whole bunch of training online to to show you how to do all that right but basically uh you would set up a list and then after that um uh, leave this set up I don't want to, I've already done that after you've got a list you'll see um you'll be able to create messages so right now I have all these different lists and if I look at uh, the one that's the main list that I use which is simple online strategies that list uh shows me broadcast schedule broadcast uh, messages all that stuff how many subscribers as you can see I haven't added anybody in the last uh, day uh, but like I said I'm not I'm not focusing on that I kind of want to talk to you about how to do the social media do's and don'ts so but the first thing is you got to have an email list right so let's talk about the the actual social media side of things right so when we're when you're on say Facebook one of the things that you want to do so f the f the main thing you want to do right on social media is connect and engage those are the those are the two things you want to create content connect and engage so you, actually these three things and that's it whether it's Facebook Instagram LinkedIn Twitter um uh, TikTok any of the platforms whatever platforms you decide to use I'm going to get that link out of there uh take that link out I mean whatever platform you decide to use right it's all about connecting engaging and creating content you got to create content regularly and you got to connect and engage now one of the things you do not want to do is post spam content now spam how do we define spam content what is spam content spam content is content that isn't desirable it's content that's trying to push something trying to promote something without people actually asking about it so if you're constantly posting say pictures of your product your company things like that 
that's like that's spam on social media they don't want it I mean sure you can post it once in a while like maybe one in ten posts you can have something that says hey I'm in this company and I've got this and, and by the way you don't want to talk about your company you don't want to talk about your product the names you don't want to give those names up and I know that it feels like oh my god I why would I hide that it's not about hiding it it's about uh, making sure people get to know you before they go and find out about whatever company you're with if they go and google it they're going to find a whole bunch of other people so they're either going to decide that it's not for them without even talking to you without just by seeing what's out there right or they're going to decide oh my god I want to do this and they're going to go find somebody else who's got a lot more results than you who's been around longer and who's got more success and whatever right so if you don't talk about your company and people think oh my god you're hiding something well you know what there are probably people who wouldn't be interested anyway so don't worry about it right so that's the thing so you want to be posting about results so you want to be saying for example that you lost 20 pounds or you want to be saying that you you feel more energized or you want to say that you save money on your on your phone bill right you don't want to talk about the actual company or the actual product name and that's one of the things that's that's that also becomes spam right if you do that too much you don't want to talk about results all the time you do want to post about you know your family about different things so those are the do's is posting content you follow the 80 20 rule make sure you post you know content about your family content about things going on in your life not just about your business right just about your business is going to feel spammy it's going to feel not not you know feel yucky right people won't like that they're not it's kind of like just imagine if you went to a, a family barbecue and all you did was talk about your new company you just started right even if it's a even if it's a restaurant say you open up a pizza shop are you going to spend the whole time at the barbecue talking about your pizza shop if you do they're they're going to get tired of it right they're not going to lots of them are going to be like i why, why would I, I'm sure maybe I'll go help them out because it's you know my brother or my or my uncle or whatever but you're not gonna like that that's all he talks about right that's all you talk about so you got to talk about them talk about oh and that's the other thing so okay so the next part is engagement right so content is one thing got to be creating content you got to use the 80 20 rule you got to be not posting your company and product name oh by the way no links don't post links uh, social media hates links they don't want people to leave their platform so they don't like links they're not going to share your stuff as much okay so engagement and by the way I do have if you go to my blog at jeansergegagnon.com I do have a free ebook that kind of outlines these things the top 10 simple online strategies they really uh, give you details on on why those things are important it's a anyways if you if you want that you certainly uh, ask or just go to my blog it'll be right on the side there anyway so engagement engagement why do you need to engage on other people's stuff you know why do you have to spend time commenting on their stuff why do you have to go and you know um like their stuff or share their stuff or why do you have to do that I mean oh it's so annoying right <laughs> well that's what the social media platform is all about if you don't like doing that it's okay you still have to do it though because if if you don't do it you're not gonna you're not gonna get people to see your stuff the social media platforms are all about reciprocity so people are people who aren't on social media for business they're on social media to be social and most people are there for that if you're there to build a business you have to go by the rules of the platform the platform wants you to be social it wants you to to connect with people it wants you so you know when you're going through your platform here your your posts on your news feed right you want to say stuff about or you want to engage on things right uh right you can say simple things like oh I guess I'm I have to reload my I haven't been this tab is uh, old <laughs> so that on Facebook if you don't refresh your page um it'll it'll kind of tell it kind of tell too hard a word that's cool um but yeah so you got to go through and you actually have to engage on things you know like love um uh and you know and and comment you should be commenting on things and this is because on social media 
it's a reciprocity thing so if you don't engage on other people's stuff the platform will not even show your stuff to other people you see how I see these particular people's posts I see Brooke Oaks here I see Mark Nelson these are the people I see all the time um I don't know who that is that's a, probably a newer friend uh, this is another new so I see some newer friends but I see a lot of people that I see all the time and uh, you know the the people I see are the ones that I typically engage on so Facebook will show you the stuff that you're mostly engaging on and their stuff their their posts and same goes the other way so people that engage on your stuff will see your stuff more often and anybody else who's not engaging on stuff you will not see your stuff unless you're engaging on all sorts of things it's a it's a like I said it's a reciprocity thing and how do you get to, to more people to see your stuff like I have four thousand I have more than four thousand friends right so how is it possible that I see posts from you know maybe 10 people right 10 people 20 max are the people I see all the time on my news feed and why is that because social media is a reciprocity thing so whoever you engage on the most is who you're going to see the most so if you want to see more stuff you, <laughs> you need to go and connect and engage elsewhere like for me uh in Facebook you can go to groups for example you can go directly to your friend's profile if I look at this person here I I'm not even sure what who that is but I can go to her profile right and then I can look at her friend list and then I can just click on some of those friends uh actually I they I guess they would have to be a friend of mine is this a friend yeah this is a friend of mine so I would go on this page and I would just like their stuff on their profile right or comment on it right when you are learning you grow naturally what seeds have you planted very true very true all right I did I did plant some real seeds seeds recently though a little apple and some little apple tree and some lemon trees there you go right so I can comment something like that I can tell people this is what you know <laughs> look at that <laughs> this is not that looks like somebody who's not having a good day right <laughs> well not having a good day so you comment so you got to engage right you got to comment and engage so how do you find other people to comment on you just go like I said to your friends and their friends or you can use a birthday so every single day there you're going to have the birthday list of people you can go on their profile and just comment on a few things uh, I find that doing that though is kind of annoying because lots of the friends I have they're not even active on Facebook so when I look at their let's say I got 20 people that are their birthdays today and I go through them I might have two or three of them that have actually posted something in the last year right so it's kind of like um, but I guess that could be a way to unfriend if you see somebody who's not active you can always unfriend them but the thing is that if they're not active it doesn't necessarily mean they're not seeing stuff they're not watching things they're not comment they're not you know uh seeing your stuff or other people's stuff right so engaging and then the other thing is connect so you got to connect with people but when you connect with people it doesn't mean just send them like on Facebook a friend request right and when I talk about the do's and the don'ts and I say the don't don't be just connecting just sending friend requests sending friend requests sending friend requests first of all Facebook and other platforms they don't like you to just connect with for no reason right and they'll even you know uh pen penalize you they might even block you if you do it too fast if you're trying to connect with too many people at the same time right I mean that's just one of those things that that you really need to avoid and same thing with your business page if you if you have a business page a fan page a, a prof uh, uh I don't know if there's another word for it now but anyways if you have a page right and I have a bunch of pages if you have a page and you um try to do some there's different ways to get likes right you do ads to get likes on your page I know I did I did stuff that now I know Facebook doesn't like and has 
you know black blacklisted me on certain things they've blocked they've deleted my pages they've they've closed my pages so I, I'm not doing that anymore but what I did in the beginning was I actually um so there's a way that you can get like thousands of likes for pennies and I did that <laughs> and uh, so anything that seems to be you know a, a way of doing something that kind of goes against what the platform wants you to do you got to be careful there there's there's reasons for that and even though like for me it was all about getting lots of likes on my page I got like 20,000 likes on my page within a day or two right and I did that by by creating an ad to a image that had certain text on it that enticed people to click on the like right and Facebook doesn't like it when you do something that isn't you know like anyways whether people get get annoyed at it or not the platform doesn't like it well they're gonna blacklist you they're gonna, like if I look at my my account now there's this uh, thing on it that says that there's a an admin that didn't follow rules <laughs> didn't follow the guidelines right so I mean that's kind of what happened I ended up losing that page I appealed it it never they never approved it back and maybe I could have tried to retry appealing it because some people say that if you keep appealing you keep appealing you keep appealing eventually somebody because it, you know just humans that are looking at these things right and they're they've got like hundreds of people working on that obviously you have there's they have a lot of people and you know one of them could decide to to reinstate your page even though others haven't right because it's it's all it's all about uh you know how they feel that day I suppose right just like anything else and so you got to be careful when you're doing things that aren't exactly what they want you to do so for example getting likes on a page costs like two three bucks for one like right that's ridiculous when I first started I created ads for likes I thought you know let's do that and it would cost me two two dollars and thirty cents for one like and then I did I found this 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 strategy right uh to get uh, like like one cent two cents per like I actually did it it actually really worked really great I got thousands of likes for 20 bucks uh, I, I actually ended up spending 200 bucks for 18,000 likes or something like that right and I thought that was awesome oh my god look I got all these likes and when people see my page they're gonna think you know at least I know stuff but the thing is that if you're uh, really knowledgeable in the online marketing you're going to see that even though I had 18,000 likes on my page I had almost no engagement like I would post something and there would be no likes or maybe one comment every 10 posts or whatever right so that proves that shows you that the, even though you have a lot of likes if you're not getting engagement that's because they're not they're not likes that you know like the content they're just they just click the like button right so you don't really want that so you don't want to be doing that and and so what you want to do is you want to build content for your target market for your audience for the people that you want to connect that you want to attract to you you want to be creating content for them and you want to be causing engagement how do you cause engagement they have to see your stuff they have to see your stuff so how do you get them to see your stuff social media controls it you either have to pay for ads for them to see your stuff or you have to be creating content and you have to be engaging on other people's stuff so that the platform rewards you for being active if you're active you're commenting liking sharing if you're active on the platform they will share your stuff now I, I'm not super active because I'm on all all platforms at the same time it's probably there's some negative to that but at the same time it's I'm growing and I'm, I'm learning lots of things but the thing is that I did test that I know it works and I've seen it by others but I mean for me like for once I would be getting like one or two engagements on my post right and then I did this whole you know spending time on Facebook and spending about half an hour a day constantly engaging and maybe, maybe even an hour and constantly engaging and commenting and finding other things and going to groups and doing this spending all that time on Facebook being engaging commenting you know being the good social media person and then the week after that 
I would get tons of engagements on my posts compared to before I would get 20 30 40 comments and likes on my posts versus one or two right and that that's because I was being engaging and I was being rewarded by the platform and that's that's really all you got to do so the do's and don'ts if you're trying to generate leads so this is the thing okay let's um, let's let's wrap this up let's talk about the actual leads how do you get leads from social media well like I said you don't want to be posting comments you don't want to be posting likes uh your your links I mean to to your stuff or or vid or images or anything like that about your actual company your actual product you want to be um posting about what what that gives them what that what what would be their benefit right in sales we talk about benefit right benefit versus features so a feature is something that def that you you use to define your product right like for example a feature would be uh you know long distance service right or it would be uh it would be a weight loss pill right so those uh, and the feature would be that it's a pill it's small it you, it's easy to swallow um it's um it's it doesn't taste bad um you know the feature of the pill right or the ingredients or x or whatever right but what's the benefit what's the benefit to the person to using your long distance service you're going to save on your long though obviously that's not true anymore with long distances but it's just an example you're going to save on your long distance it's going to cost you x you know uh it's going to it's going to cost you a tenth of what it's costing you right now what's the benefit to the weight loss where you're going to lose weight that's great but what about and then here's the, and then there's the next level right the benefit of the benefit so for example and it's really good for weight loss to um, to um, to display or to make to explain this right so weight loss is you lose weight right that's the benefit of the pill the pill is easy to swallow doesn't taste bad whatever right that's the features of the pill you take it every day you lose weight that's the that's the benefit right but what's the benefit of the benefit who cares that you're going to lose weight every single product out there says you're going to lose weight right but and and again every product has the same benefit of benefit still but when you talk about the benefit of benefit it gives the person the the feeling it brings up the feelings of whatever that benefit is so for example you can say you're going to lose weight but when you walk down the street and your ex sees you they're going to think you look awesome and they're going to want you back right or you're going to make all those people in high school at the high school reunion think you look like an 18 year old again right those are the benefit that's the benefit of the benefit you lose weight you're going to look great in front of your audience you're going to look great in your bikini you're going to look you're going to feel better you're going to have you're going to have more energy because your body's going to be in better shape you're going to sleep better because your stress level is going to be down right all those things those are benefits of benefits so you want to talk about that and then you want to have a way to capture them as leads so you you can capture them as leads using um, a basic form like if we go to aweber again do i have it I still, do i still have it open i do so if i go here i go to my list i can actually create a landing page or a sign up form right under sign up forms uh you can create a sign up form it's basically it's very simple you just create a form like this it shows you the basics of it you can have examples and this is basic just name an email and then that becomes a sign up form that you can that you can put into say a blog or a website right that's a sign up for a landing page is an actual website you don't have to have a blog you don't have to have anything and it becomes a page that you know tells them about your your service about why they want to be on your list about what it is that they're going to get from being on your list and what I would recommend is if, say for example if I go to my um my simple online strategy if you join my simple online strategy you're going to get these emails right follow-up series and whoops I think that's oh that's not the right one uh, messages so you're going to get all these messages right you're going to get message number one number two number three number four number five you're going to get these messages which are going to contain information that the person wants to know about they want to know about simple online strategies they want to know how to build their leads and their business online this is 
a list that's going to give them that so I could have a, a landing page that tells them about that if I go to my blog I actually don't have a landing page there but I have a I have a capture page if you will or a uh, what do you call it if I go on the side of my blog here right you see this top 10 simple online strategies if I click it it takes me to a uh that this is kind of this is a landing page but it's using a different piece of software I'm not going to get into that right now but basically it's a page that tells them what the what is this right what is this book you get this free book and then you're going to become a master of simple and this is how you're going to become a master of simple by learning these 10 things right these 10 simple online strategies you put your name and email and then you click that and you get the free ebook and you also get you know to be on my list and you'll start to get these emails these daily emails right here you get these every day to kind of guide you through the 10 steps that's kind of how I did it I'm not saying you have to do that but that's kind of what I did and but and that's the thing so on social media what are the do's and don'ts like I said the do's is post content that is relevant to your audience and don't spam them number two is be engaging engage on other people's stuff so that they so that the platform rewards you and shows your stuff to other people and number four is connect and I didn't really get into that too much but connecting on social media is about going to their their profile and seeing what they're about seeing what content they post and make and sending them a message relating to what you've seen to let them know hey that's a, oh my god your family looks so adorable that baby is so cute um you know uh or maybe they they're into horses I oh that's so cool our horses you got to be relatable and was just, that's a whole other con conversation but you know that's the thing so you you go and you engage on social media you post uh where's my Facebook is over there what happened to my Facebook where did I put my Facebook at oh right here so I mean you got to go on to social media you got to be active on there and be engaging and conding and so creating what don't you want to do you don't want to be posting links you don't want to be posting about your product all the time you don't want to be you know and uh uh what you know just just talking about your business right you don't want to you don't want to be doing that you want to be posting about their things that they're interested in right what are they interested in what is it that your audience is interested in just go and talk about that stuff all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and you're gonna and we're gonna see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.